Alrighty. Hello, hello, everybody. This is Kiru Show here, and now, before we do start, let us give a brief little review. In the last part, a number of events have happened. Now, the Bat family was torn apart by Batman himself. Bruce Wayne with the powers of Kryptonian ripped apart his family. The only people who survived in the immediate aftermath were Dick and Barbara. Deku, he was still dead in her arms. However, Barbara, she was taken in along with Dick and the rest of the Bat family's bodies. Now, she was the only survivor whenever Dick died in League custody. And Deku, after his revival, he came to see her. And she was messed up. She was fine physically, but mentally she's been put through the ringer. Whatever she saw after he died, them being ripped apart and torn apart, it just shut her down. And Deku, he's alarmed. But right now Deku, he has a lot going through his mind. He has Lazarus Madness, and then he spoke with Rose and spent time with their son. Then he spoke to Talia. And Talia made things quite clear. He'll have to sleep here tonight. Her father wants to speak with him, along with Deathstroke. And Deku, Deku, he didn't really want to listen to her. He wanted to head to his room, but it was presumably being used for something. And Deku, yeah. He ended up falling asleep in Talia's bed. And Talia, she didn't do anything to him. She just laid down and pretended like they were a happy family. It's a strange dream of hers. It's definitely the most peculiar thing she's thought about. But it is... nice. Now then, with that being said, Deku right now wakes up in Talia Ogul's bed. And a few things immediately run through his mind. However, the first thing that does catch his attention is the fact that his pants are still on. So there's that. And Deku, he actually has someone going to sit up. Him going to turn his head and see Talia. Her still asleep in... Sweat? No, no. Him actually pulling the blanket back all the way. And seeing that she's in sweatpants, not some short shorts. And Talia does lay there in a tank top. Her actually not going to roll over. Her going to somewhat open her eyes and actually ask Izuku if he's finally awake. You slipped something to my drink. I didn't do anything. In fact, it was a plan to calm your nerves. However, you're the one who walked over and got a drink. I'm assuming you didn't check the glass. <laughs> my fault. What did you do to me last night? Nothing. You slept. You needed it. Right. Listen. I gotta get back out there and fight Bruce. I can't be here. I can't stay here. You'll want to listen to what my father has to say. Unless your father plans to try and fight Batman with the League, I don't want to hear a word. You'll want to. Is it important? Yes. He said it's urgent. How urgent? Right now, Ra's al Ghul going to knock on the door and going to yell for Talia. Him trying to ask if Izuku happens to be in the room. And Deku, he does go to actually turn his head and look at the clock. It's a little past nine in the morning. Him actually is not going to stand and walk over, pulling the door open. And Ra's al Ghul is going to stand there. Him with Slade. Expressing, follow him. Deku going to turn back to Talia and stare at her. Her going to sit up and actually go to look over the crib, seeing her son. And right now she at least tend to Damien. As Deku does not actually walk through the league base with Rachel Ghoul and Deathstroke. The three heading to a room as the doors do to close. And right now Deathstroke he does get to actually stand outside. And Deku's a bit more surprised by that. 
What do you want, Raish? I have a lot to tell you about. Most importantly, though, there's a lot of problems. If you're talking about Bruce, I know. You bought me back again. Why? A bit more to the trigger, aren't you? You have to be quick if you don't want to be killed. <laughs> of course. I brought you back because I still see a purpose and a use for you, Izuku. I believe that in the days to come, you will be a great resource for me to have. A great help. Now, I'm going to tell you this quite simply. And quickly. We have information on the League. And we've alerted them that you're alive. But Barbara is in less than desirable conditions, I know. You already saw her. Yeah. But what about the family? Why haven't you brought them back? Why haven't I seen Dick? Tim? They've at least been earned your respect in that you would bring them back. Do not raise your voice at me again. <sighs> I just... It's a go kill. No. I see it's back. Yes. I'm back at step zero, Raish. And I am angrier than I've ever been. I made it worse. You blame yourself for this. I feel like I've driven him to kill. <laughs> it was bound to happen eventually. You say that now, but how do you know? Izuku, there is a number of things I've seen in this world. This life. Raish going to actually sit down. And going to gesture for Deku to do the same. And Deku, he does remain standing. Raish Ogul going to continue. Of the many things in his life that he's witnessed, in his over six century long journey, it is that some people look for order in chaos, and chaos in order. But most importantly, there is the madman. The madmen, they seek reasons to be mad. But there are then the insane. The insane don't seek the reasons. The madmen do. He doesn't know which one Bruce is right now. But Bruce turned into a madman who jumped the line of sanity. He discovered what exactly was on the other side. And he thought it was better than being a madman. Whatever is going on in his mind right now, it's bad. God forbid they know. Because then they'd be the ones insane. Though the insane, they can do things without the repercussions of them. The repercussions of two little things. Sanity and order. Along with the third thing they've buried long since. Reason. And that does make Rachel Ghoul somewhat stand out to Deku. Deku's surprised hearing this. And Rachel Ghoul does listen, or does continue on. Deku going to listen to Raish talk about it. Bruce Wayne is an unpredictable anomaly and they don't know what he'll do. Bruce already knows this location. And they have done quite a lot to stay hidden. However, he's fairly certain that Bruce, he's already gotten what he wanted. And Izuku coming back, it was not part of the plan. However, he does have to think outside of the box to understand Bruce's mindset. Understand... What he'll do next. And Deku? Deku, he does have an idea. One that sounds... Perfect. Because it's insane. It's something that he would never do. And Deku, he does still get a stand. He knows what he needs to do. He stands up straighter. And Rachel Gold is at a watch. Deku has that madness in his eyes. However, there's a calm focus to it. The way he's standing. He's sure of something. But the eyes don't lie. It's rage. That's all it is. He's going to do something he doesn't want to do. 
and Rachel Good is a stare at him, asking Izuku what exactly is on his mind. And Deku? Deku, he does at least try to tell him. He has an idea and he knows it's going to sound crazy, but he needs to use the Lazarus pit. Izuku, I will only bring one of them back. Why? I need to do that because people in the league think I am soft. I have a spot for you in my heart. But I don't. Izuku, I have seen you as somewhat of a son. You have given me a grandson. You are technically family. Yet I would still kill you on the spot without hesitation. Noted, Raish. Now, I need you to bring him back. I will not bring back any of them. I will only bring back one. So you're saying I can only use the Lazarus Pit once? They can. Pick one. Dick or Tim would be your primary choice. I also heard that you had Kate, Kane, in your custody. Piecing the body together has been... difficult. But we can help. If you choose her. You can... Race, you're making a very big mistake right now. I need all of them. And I'm telling you, you don't. If you brought them all back, you'd just kill them again. We'll laugh at you and then murder you again. That's what he would do. If you bring back one, then he would just try and torture you both. Make you watch the others suffer. That's how he would think. He's insane enough to kill one of you in front of the other. But if he feels like he's playing the same game again, he won't play. That's why you're saying that. Yes. Now, I would choose Dick Grayson if I were you. He is your best bet. I have a plan that involves the Joker. How so? It's insane, but it can work. Izuku, I was about to discuss with you my own plans. I know that you... And I are not exactly on a good level. But I'm going to teach you a few things. I'm going to stand and turn, expressing to Deku. What he will do is quite simple. In his many, many centuries, what does he think he does with his time? Sit around and drink? Does he just sit here and watch time fly? No. He has cultivated ancient knowledge. And even him... Being a practitioner of the magical arts is not out of the question. He has made deals, and he has sold his own soul. However, he has gained immense power. Though it's hard to collect on a soul whenever you don't die. <laughs> I see. You're going to teach me magic? No. I will teach you how to harness your own essence. Afterwards, you are going to go back to the League. Bring back Grayson with you. Then, you are going to stop Batman. What I'm going to teach you is magical in origin. It will hurt him. Afterwards, you are going to leave. I need to bring back somebody else to the Lazarus Pit. The Lazarus Pit can be used to restore her sanity. What? That's... I don't... You can use it on her and bring her back with you. But, it's also quite possible that we can make her heal. Given enough time. Though I doubt that is the case right now. If you saw her, you gave her a taste of the real world. Again. You reminded her of the trauma, and she shut down. Did she not? I didn't. You thought it would be better for her. Kill Izuku. Shut up. 
You thought it would help her, didn't you not? Shut up. Isuku, kill Ra's al Ghul. Kill Bruce Wayne. Kill Bruce Wayne. Kill Bruce Wayne. They're doing it over and over. They're chanting in his mind. He hears it over and over. Kill Ra's al Ghul. Kill Bruce Wayne. Kill. 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 Kill! And Deku, he doesn't stare up at Ra's al Ghul. Him with the look of the insane. Ra's al Ghul, he does get a hold a book. And right now, he doesn't stare at Deku. Deku gonna lunge towards him and get ready. As Ra's al Ghul, he doesn't bring his hand up. And right over Deku does a rush towards him, throwing his fist out, Rachel Ghoul does go to cast a spell. Him going to lock Deku directly in place. And Deku, he does stand there. Him screaming out and angry. As Rachel Ghoul does a walk around. Expressing. Izuku is nothing more than a mindless animal, not capable of much. Is this what he intends to do? Is this what he intends to be? He thought he was dealing with a properly trained member of the League. However, it appears all he is dealing with is a feral and disgusting mutt. One that practically fucks anything that moves, right? One that will eat anything it can get its hands on. So, I'm going to walk back around, expressing, looking to go dead in the face. Is he just some simple mutt, or is he a well-trained member of the League? He does want a proper answer. And Deku does go stare at Rachel Ghoul. The man, serious in face, hmm, serious in nature, and his face tells him everything. And Deku does not stare on. Him still gritting his teeth and staring at Rachel Ghoul with the look to kill, the intent. And Deku, he does try to calm down. He's trying to focus his rage, harness the aggression he feels. And right now, Deku, he has a stare to get Rachel Ghoul. Him going to stop, grinding his teeth together, as the look of sanity does return. And Rachel Ghoul, he doesn't release the spell. Deku collapsed into the ground, and breathing heavy. The man going to walk over and sit down. Going to express. Well, that was certainly something. Huh. How did you do that? I didn't know you knew magic. It's quite simple, Izuku. Over the centuries, my organization has gathered together much. Magical artifacts, religious artifacts, and knowledge. Some of it deemed forbidden, and some of it that is useful. So, you know magic. I know alchemy and magic. I know many spells. However, I will teach you some of what I know. It should help you. Though, I would talk to Zatanna. She is a powerful magician. Along with even Dr. Fate. That man may be able to help you. Though, Izuku, I am concerned about what you might be able to do. Your potential. You have been touched by the Lazarus Pit twice. That is a specialty. Gift. I only know of a few people who have done such a feat. And... Who I have allowed to live, let alone I have allowed to learn from me, directly. You trained with my daughter and you trained with Rose Wilson. Now, what I plan to do is put you through your paces, and Deathstroke will work off your aggression with the Lazarus Madness. Do I make myself clear? After you undergo my training, you will see the fruits, and I will see whether or not you are deserving of the title of family. Otherwise, I'll practically rip the blood from his veins. Rip your blood from my grandson's body. <laughs> You'll disown him. I will not do that. He is still my grandson. However, I will not be lenient on him. Plan to threaten me by threatening your grandchild? I do not make threats, Izuku. I make promises. The boy was already going to be trained whenever he was older. Though, I do wish to see whether or not he ought to make up for his own father's failings. Now, 
Will you do as I say? Let me radio back in with the League. Get an update. At least figure that out. Where are we? We're in the mountains. Far away from civilization. It's cold outside. You'll need snow gear. Are you going to hunt? I might need to. I just need... I just need to calm down. But I do have a plan and I hate it. And you're going to understand why I'm so fucking angry. Will I? You're not angry at the fact that you have to only bring back one of your family members or choose between the love of your life. No, no. Hmm. That does make me a lot very angry, Raish. But that's not it. I want to bring back somebody who was not in the family. Really? Yes. I plan to bring them back to understand how he thinks. Understand how he... Oh. You're going to bring him back. Yes. Right now, Destro is going to walk into the room. As Deku is going to turn. Him with a look of insanity. And Destro, he does get to inform Izuku that they're going to chat and they're going to fight. Pick one. Lady Shiva is waiting to speak to him, though. And the conversation he'll have with Izuku will be later, when they are better sorted. So, chat with her and then find him. Immediately. He's going to turn and walk away, closing the door behind him. And Deku doesn't want to still stand there. Him, staring back at Reisha Rule. The man knows who he wants to bring back. But will he really do such a thing? Bringing back the clown. It is a very strange thing. Is it not? And Deku? Deku doesn't understand. I'm going to turn and leave. Rachel Ghoul is going to inform him. See him later, and make sure that he does not be late. He knows what he means. I'm going to sit there. And Deku? Deku doesn't leave. Talking to Shiva. Finding out a few things. It's definitely going to be weird. Interesting? I'll go with interesting. Shiva must be in charge of his training as well, right? She knows a lot. She knows much. So, it'll definitely be something. Him walking down the corridor. As he has to find Lady Shiva's room. Him going to knock onto it. And then going to step inside. As Shiva, Shiva does a turn. Her, at least, are going to ask Izuku. If he got her message. Not a lot of it. I just know you wanted to speak to me. Yes, I do. I'm quite happy to see you again. Are you? Yes. Now, I do wish to ask you several questions. One of which, though, I guess I will have to go with directly. We're going to rush forwards. And Deku, he has to throw up his hands. Him going to react to the attack. Now, Deku does a dodge. Him moving to the right and bring up his left hand. Shiva actually going to throw out her right hand as right now Deku, him and her do to grab onto each other. Deku a lot more surprised as he actually has to pull onto Shiva's arm. Her going to throw her body around and spin. As she actually starts to bring up her arm and try and backhand Deku. Him going to dodge out of the way as Shiva does actually lunge forwards. Her grabbing on him as Deku actually has a turn. Him going to spin and throw Shiva across the room. Her going to smash on a dresser as Deku he actually going to bring his hands up. Right now, him trying to stay calm. Focused. A sudden, powerful attack. That's what he needs to do. He just... He needs to keep his mind on the battle. Him staring at Shiva. And going to actually rush forwards. Shiva going to actually rush forwards herself. Deku throwing out both of his hands as he's trying to aim directly at Shiva. 
him throwing wild straight jabs. And she does get a dodge underneath. Her action went to uppercut Deku as she's going to lunge forwards, tackling onto him. The two flying backwards and landing on the bed. And Shiva, Shiva actually is going to grab onto Deku. Her going to bring her hands up to her throat, well, up to his throat, and down onto him. Right now, her going to find the nerves in his throat. Express to him. Her going to lean down. She wins. Shiva. <clears throat> Her pulling her hands back. That was... <coughs> Ow. That hurt. I do apologize. It was fun. You are very rusty. I'm suffering from Lazarus madness. That is no excuse. You have been brought back for a purpose. I got that. Do you? You do understand what that does mean. You have reasons. Now, I want you to do something very, very simple. Her going to lean down, and almost, touching Deku's skin, her face close to his own, expressing. What they are going to do is run that again, and this will only be done when he finally does get to pin her. She does like this, though. She does like to be the one in control. Though, this is about him wrestling back control from his own self. Now, what will he do? Will he lay there and let her win? Or will he fight and control the rapid dog? Though, he doesn't need to hold back. Not in fighting spirit or in desire. She would be interested to see how his performance is there. But then again, she was informed to train him this way. Then, she will help to teach him the basics of the mystic arts. How much does he know about meditation? I know quite a bit. Though you really shouldn't let your guard down. They're going to throw himself forwards. Right now, smashing his face directly up in the shivas. Her still going to recoil backwards and fall. They go trying to take the opportunity. Him going to jump back up as Shiva does to throw out her hand. And her foot is not too far behind. Her are now going to throw it out and up in a Deku. Who? He immediately is kicked upwards into the inner thigh. Him going to buckle forwards and down. Her throwing her hand out and right now grabbing or smashing upwards into Deku's shoulder. Him right now going to still sit there. Shiva going to kick him up. And Deku is then flying across the room. Him going to smash down as Shiva does a spin over and get back up. Her right now back on her feet. Deku going to flip back over and sit up. Her going to bring up her finger and at least motion for Deku to approach her. And Deku, he actually doesn't crack his neck. Him feeling the voices creep back in. Him want to get back up. And now there actually is a lot of crash. As Rose Wilson, she's just outside. Her going to somewhat wait. Let's see, that time was about 87 seconds? Hmm. Then again, if they're still talking, it isn't impressive. We're going to pause it. Going to actually, somewhat, turn and pull open the door. Her going to look inside. As right now, Shiva, she does get pinned to the bed. Deku, sitting directly on top of her. Her, somewhat smiling. And Deku... He doesn't look down. A former mentor of his. She's impressive. Powerful in skills in nature. And yet, she let him win. Why? Why what? You're doing something to mess with my head. Why? I'm not doing anything. Her going to somewhat bring down her hands. Press them down into the bed as she actually slip her hands out from underneath. Her bringing them up directly to Izuku's face, expressing to him. He could have won the whole time. She was still holding back. Though, that was what she was ordered to do. Or was it not? She is sent here to confuse his mind. She's been sent here 
to see exactly what you can do to him. See whether or not he will choose what is best. Though, just get a few things out of the deal. Deal? Yes. I get a few things. I get to teach you again. See whether or not one of the most promising students, they can do something for me. You're trying to use a seduction tactic on me. Am I? Or am I extending an offer to you, Izuku? One I only see you being able to perform for me. You are a powerful person. Though, will you impress me that way too? Or are you going to fail your test? Are you going to fall into the arms of a succubus? Or the arms of somebody who will care for you? Choose, and I will choose. You're playing a mind game. Am I? Or do I want you? Do I want you to hold me? Shut up. I see it's beginning to work. Though, I also am getting a little disappointed. That was fast. You're not messing with my head. Shut up. Deku's not going to fall forwards. And right now, there actually is where Shiva does not bring her hands up. Her going to actually set Deku to the side. Her actually a bit more concerned. Deku seemed to pass out. Deku bring his hands up. I'm going to grab onto Shiva and actually going to force her up into the air. The two, right now, going to spin again and crash into the wall. As Deku is going to pin her to the floor. This time. And Shiva's a bit more impressed. Deku, with a look of insanity on his face. As he is going to tell her, He's perfectly in control. And he's dealt with this shit before. The insanity still plastered there. And Shiva, she knows that Deku, he has a form of control. But he's not in control. The madness still is going to drive him. And that only pisses him off further. Giving him less control. It's quite plain to tell. He might have a handle on that anger. But he still flies off the rails, doesn't he? <laughs> Only halfway in control. That's what she sees. This will definitely be a lot more fun. Her going to smile. And there actually is a loud crash in the room again. This time Rose going to close the door. Since, apparently, they're resetting. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.